Neil Young, a prominent figure in the world of music, was born in Toronto, Canada in 1945. His upbringing was marked by a love for music, which was instilled in him at a young age by his father, Scott Young, a sports journalist and aspiring singer-songwriter. Neil's first exposure to music came from his father's record collection, which included artists like Hank Williams and Ian Tyson. Neil's early years were spent in rural Ontario, where he developed a love for rock and roll and country music. He began playing the guitar at the age of 12, and by his teens, he had formed his first band, The Jades. After dropping out of high school, Neil moved to Winnipeg and joined a number of bands, including the Squires and the Minor Birds. One of Neil's key influences and mentors was Stephen Stills, a fellow musician who later became a member of Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. The two met in the late 1960s and formed a close friendship as well as a successful musical partnership. Another important influence on Neil's music was his love of classic country and folk artists such as Hank Williams and Bob Dylan. Neil's upbringing and early experiences played a significant role in shaping his music and his approach to songwriting. His love for both rock and roll and country music can be heard in his distinctive sound, which blends elements of both genres. And his close relationships with other musicians, such as Stephen Stills, have helped to shape his career and his artistic vision. Neil Young is a music artist known for his distinctive voice and songwriting. He's been active in the music scene since the 1960s, releasing many beloved songs and albums as a solo artist and as a member of the bands Buffalo Springfield and Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Do you have a favorite Neil Young moment or work that has stayed with you? Is there a particular song or album that you hold close to your heart? We would love to hear about your experiences and memories related to Neil Young in the comments below. Throughout this video, we'll be sharing fun, shocking, and sad facts about Neil Young's life and career. So, keep watching to learn more. Neil Young's music has had a significant impact on the music industry, and his works have been enjoyed by fans of all ages. His music has transcended generations and continues to be relevant today. So, let us know in the comments below, what is your favorite Neil Young moment or work? And, what is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? Neil Young's passion for music began at a young age, around 12, when his father bought him his first guitar. Neil was instantly drawn to the instrument, spending hours each day teaching himself to play. He was influenced by the country and rock music his parents listened to, which sparked his interest in creating his own sound. One pivotal experience that fueled Neil's desire to pursue a music career was seeing Elvis Presley perform on The Ed Sullivan Show. The energy and excitement of Elvis' performance left a lasting impression on Neil and inspired him to take his music to the next level. Another significant moment came when Neil and his band, The Squires, played at a local roller rink. They were a hit with a crowd, and Neil realized the power of music to connect with people and bring them joy. This experience solidified his decision to pursue music as a career. Neil's passion for music was also fueled by his love for experimentation and pushing the boundaries of what was possible. Throughout his career, he has been known for his innovative approach to music, constantly seeking new ways to express himself and create new sounds. In short, Neil Young's passion for music was ignited at a young age and fueled by pivotal experiences, his love for experimentation and his desire to connect with people and bring them joy. Neil Young is a music artist with a diverse filmography. He has appeared in and contributed to various documentaries and films. One must-watch documentary is Neil Young Heart of Gold, which showcases his music and personal journey. Another is Journey Through the Past, a concert film from 1972. In the narrative film category, Human Highway from 1982, where he plays a dual role, is a quirky pick. Young also starred in Greendale, a musical drama film from 2003. For those new to his work, starting with Neil Young Heart of Gold is recommended. It provides an intimate look at his music and life. Journey Through the Past is another good choice, showcasing his early career. In summary, Neil Young's filmography offers a range of documentaries and films that fans should not miss. Whether you're new to his work or a longtime fan, there's something for everyone to enjoy. Neil Young, the renowned music artist, faced numerous challenges in his early career. Financial struggles were a constant companion, as he often lived in poverty while trying to make it in the music industry. 
Despite his talent, he found it difficult to secure record deals and gain recognition from mainstream audiences. Industry skepticism was also a major hurdle for Young. Music executives doubted his ability to succeed, and his unconventional sound and style made it difficult for him to fit in with the popular music of the time. However, instead of conforming to industry expectations, Young chose to stay true to his artistic vision, releasing music that was deeply personal and often politically charged. Despite these challenges, Young's resilience and determination helped him to overcome these obstacles. He founded his own record label, enabling him to release his music on his own terms. He also experimented with different sounds and styles, incorporating elements of rock, folk, and country into his music. Young's innovative approach to music making helped to set him apart from his peers and solidify his place in the industry. He became known for his passionate live performances and his music resonated with audiences around the world. Today, Neil Young is remembered as one of the most influential and enduring musicians of his generation. His music has transcended genre boundaries and inspired countless artists who have followed in his footsteps. Through his creativity, determination, and unwavering commitment to his artistic vision, Young has left an indelible mark on the world of music. Neil Young, a renowned figure in the music industry, has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, once with Buffalo Springfield and again as a solo artist. However, his other band, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, has not received the same recognition. In 2022, Young made headlines when he withdrew his music from Spotify in protest of the streaming platform allowing podcaster Joe Rogan to spread conspiracy theories about the coronavirus vaccine. Joni Mitchell joined him in solidarity shortly after. Throughout his career, Young has produced numerous hit songs, some of which include Cinnamon Girl, Down by the River, Heart of Gold, After the Gold Rush, Hey Hey, My My, and Rockin' in the Free World. These songs have become staples in the world of rock music and are widely recognized by fans and industry professionals alike. Neil Young's career is studded with breakthrough moments that have left a significant impact on the music industry. One of the earliest defining moments was when he co-founded the band Buffalo Springfield in the mid-60s. His bandmates and critics alike credit Young for bringing a unique, raw sound to the group's folk rock music. In the early 70s, Neil Young launched his solo career with the release of his album After the Gold Rush. The album was critically acclaimed, with many praising its introspective lyrics and diverse instrumentation. David Brown, a Rolling Stone contributor, mentioned that this album cemented his status as a singer-songwriter of great depth and passion. Another groundbreaking project for Young was his album Harvest in 1972. This record topped the charts and featured the iconic hit Heart of Gold. The mellow, country-infused sound of this album showcased Young's versatility as an artist and further solidified his place in music history. Young also played a pivotal role in the development of the grunge sound during the late 80s and early 90s. His collaboration with alternative rock band Pearl Jam resulted in the release of the album Mirrorball in 1995. Eddie Vedder, Pearl Jam's lead vocalist, referred to Young as a mentor and praised his ability to inspire without imposing. Throughout his career, Neil Young has consistently pushed the boundaries of rock and folk music, incorporating new sound and technologies into his work. His breakthrough moments have not only influenced his contemporaries, but have also inspired countless musicians who have followed in his footsteps. Neil Young left the band Buffalo Springfield in 1967, prior to their appearance on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson and their performance at the Monterey Pop Festival. His place was taken by David Crosby, who would later join Young in the band Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Rolling Stone magazine ranked Neil Young as the 34th greatest artist of all time in rock and roll. One of Neil Young's most popular songs is Mother Earth. The melody for this song is derived from the traditional English folk song O Wally Wally. Young is known to close his concerts with this environmental anthem. In addition to his successful solo career, Neil Young has also been a member of other notable bands, including Buffalo Springfield and Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. His music has had a significant impact on the rock genre and continues to be celebrated by fans and critics alike. Neil Young, a music artist known for his distinctive style, draws inspiration from his personal experiences and worldview. He approaches his work with a unique creative process that is both intuitive and meticulous.
Young's musical style is characterized by his expressive voice and innovative guitar playing, often incorporating elements of folk, rock, and country genres. His songs range from introspective, folk-infused ballads to high-energy rock anthems. What makes his approach unique is his ability to blend different styles seamlessly while maintaining his distinct sound. His personal experiences, including his upbringing in rural Canada, his time with bands like Buffalo Springfield and Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, and his solo career have significantly influenced his work. These experiences have shaped his songwriting, often addressing themes of social and political issues, love, and life's impermanence. Neil Young's worldview is reflected in his music through his lyrics and the emotions they convey. His songs often reflect his concern for the environment, political commentary, and personal introspection. For example, his album Harvest Moon is a reflection on love, life, and the passage of time, while Living with War is a critique of the Iraq War and former President George W. Bush's administration. In summary, Neil Young's artistic vision and process are deeply personal, reflecting his life experiences and worldview. His unique approach to music making, which blends different styles and genres, has resulted in a body of work that resonates with many, leaving a lasting impact on the music industry. Neil Young is the son of Scott Young and has a half-sister named Astrid Young. He is in a long-term relationship with actress Darl Hanna. In April 2005, Neil Young underwent surgery to remove a brain aneurysm. In 1995, during his induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Neil Young expressed his gratitude to Kurt Cobain for inspiring him to rekindle his passion for making music. Eddie Vedder, who had previously been criticized by Cobain, introduced Young at the ceremony. Throughout his career, Neil Young has been a significant figure in the music industry, with his work leaving a lasting impact on many musicians who followed in his footsteps. Despite facing health challenges, he has continued to create music and inspire others. Neil Young is a significant figure in the music industry, known for his raw and emotional sound. His music has left a lasting impact, influencing many artists and trends. Young's approach to storytelling is intimate and honest, often addressing personal or social issues in his lyrics. His signature sound, characterized by his high, clear voice and electric guitar, is instantly recognizable. According to Rolling Stone magazine, Neil Young has carved out a unique role in rock and roll, merging intimacy and power in his songwriting and guitar playing. His contributions to the industry include his work with bands like Buffalo Springfield and Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, as well as his successful solo career. Young is also known for his experimental approach to music, constantly pushing boundaries and trying new things. He has worked with a variety of genres, from folk and country to rock and electronic music. His 1982 album Trans is a prime example of his willingness to experiment, featuring synthesizers and vocoders. Many artists have cited Neil Young as an influence, including Pearl Jam, Nirvana, and Wilco. Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam has said, Neil Young was a huge influence on me. I think he's the greatest songwriter and the greatest electric guitar player in the world. Young's impact is also felt in the trend of grunge music, with his raw and emotive sound being a clear influence on the genre. In addition to his influence on music, Neil Young is also known for his activism. He has been a vocal advocate for environmental causes and has used his platform to raise awareness about issues like climate change and the Keystone XL pipeline. Overall, Neil Young's contributions to the music industry are vast and varied. His unique sound and approach to storytelling have left a lasting impact, influencing many artists and trends. His experimental approach and willingness to push boundaries have also helped to shape the industry. As Rolling Stone magazine puts it, Neil Young is one of the most important and influential artists in the history of rock and roll. Neil Young, the renowned music artist, composed a series of albums known as the Ditch Trilogy following the deaths of his friends Danny Witten and Bruce Barrett. This dark trilogy consists of Time Fades Away on the Beach and Tonight's the Night. Despite the somber theme, Young has mentioned that On the Beach carries a positive message. Born in Toronto, Canada, Young was raised in the small town of Omey, Ontario. The Scott Young Public School in Omey is named after his father, a well-known author and sports journalist. An interesting fact about Neil Young is that David Bowie was a big fan of his work and could even mimic his singing voice. 
Bowie's admiration for Young's music speaks volumes about Young's unique and influential style. These details provide a glimpse into Neil Young's life, showcasing his talent and the impact he's had on other musicians, such as David Bowie. Neil Young, the legendary music artist, leads a life that is deeply intertwined with his personal values and interests. He is known for his advocacy for environmental issues and his support for various charitable causes. One of Young's most prominent passions is his love for the environment. He is a vocal advocate for reducing carbon emissions and has even gone so far as to customize his tour bus to run on biofuels. In addition, he has been involved in campaigns to raise awareness about the dangers of genetically modified foods and the importance of renewable energy. Young is also deeply committed to philanthropy. He has been involved with several charitable organizations over the years, including the Bridge School, which provides education and therapy for children with severe speech and physical impairments. Young and his ex-wife, Peggy, co-founded the school in 1986, and it has since become a beloved institution in the Bay Area. Another cause that is close to Young's heart is the fight against poverty and homelessness. He has been a longtime supporter of the Canadian organization, Winnipeg Harvest, which provides food and other essentials to those in need. Young has also used his music as a platform to raise awareness about these issues, writing songs like Heart of Gold and The Needle and The Damage Done, which touch on themes of poverty and addiction. In addition to these causes, Young is also an advocate for the rights of indigenous peoples. He has been involved in campaigns to protect indigenous lands and has spoken out against the environmental impact of resource extraction on native territories. Overall, Neil Young's personal values and interests are deeply intertwined with his music and his philanthropic efforts. He is a passionate advocate for the environment, poverty reduction, and indigenous rights, and he uses his platform as a musician to raise awareness about these issues. Neil Young has two sons, Zeke Young and Ben Young, who have cerebral palsy. Zeke was born from Young's relationship with actress Carrie Snodgrass, while Ben was born to Peggy Young, whom Young married in 1978. Amber Jean Young, also with Peggy, completes the family. Young met Snodgrass after watching her in Diary of a Mad Housewife. The song A Man Needs a Maid reflects their relationship, with lyrics like I fell in love with the actress she was playing a part I could understand. They separated in 1975. Neil Young's parents are Scott Alexander and Edna Blow Rassie Young. His upbringing in a musical family and his mother's record collection influenced his early musical style. Rassi was instrumental in shaping Neil's love for music, which he developed as a teenager. Neil Young is a music artist who has left a lasting impact on the industry. With a career spanning over five decades, he has produced numerous influential albums and songs, tackling various themes and styles. His raw, emotive voice and innovative guitar playing have set a high standard for musicians. As for the future, Neil Young continues to create and release new music, exploring different genres and techniques. He is also known for his advocacy for high-quality audio and his efforts to improve the listening experience for fans. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Neil Young offers this advice never stop learning and experimenting. Embrace new technologies and techniques, but always stay true to your artistic vision. And most importantly, never be afraid to take risks and push boundaries. The music industry is constantly evolving, and the only way to make a lasting impact is to be a part of that change. Neil Young's album Tonight's The Night ranked 14th, and Rust Never Sleeps ranked 61st in Spin Magazine's Top 100 Alternative Albums in 1995. His solo albums are released by Reprise Records, a label he stayed with even when Warner Brothers closed it in 1976, moving other artists to different labels. Young refused to change, along with Frank Sinatra, who started the label. Later, Reprise sued Young, claiming he made uncommercial records on purpose to break his contract. Young fought the lawsuit, arguing for artistic integrity and won in court. Among his favorite albums are Trams, Everybody's Rockin', and Tonight's the Night, in that order. Neil Young's journey in the music industry is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Born in Canada, he found his passion for music at a young age and pursued it with unwavering dedication. Through his innovative songwriting and unique sound, he quickly made a name for himself in the industry. Throughout his career, Neil Young has consistently pushed the boundaries of music, experimenting with different styles 
and sounds. From his early days with Buffalo Springfield to his solo work and collaborations with Crosby, Stills, and Nash, he has always stayed true to his artistic vision. His music, characterized by its poetic lyrics and powerful guitar playing, has resonated with generations of fans. Neil Young's impact on the entertainment industry is enduring. He has inspired countless musicians and continues to do so to this day. His contributions to music are not just limited to his own work, as he has also been a strong advocate for artist rights and the preservation of music heritage. The power of creativity and perseverance is evident in Neil Young's journey. His ability to consistently innovate and push the boundaries of music is a testament to his creativity. At the same time, his unwavering dedication to his craft and his refusal to compromise his artistic vision are a testament to his perseverance. In conclusion, Neil Young's journey in the music industry is a powerful reminder of the impact that creativity and perseverance can have. His innovative spirit and enduring impact on the entertainment industry serve as an inspiration to us all. Neil Young, a longtime model train enthusiast, learned that Lionel Trains LLC, a renowned model train manufacturer, was on the brink of bankruptcy. Determined to prevent its closure, he invested his personal funds in the company, becoming a part owner. Today, the company is financially stable and thriving. In addition to his musical career, Young played uncredited sessions for the Monkees, including on the 1969 track You and I, which touched on the unpredictable nature of teen idol fandom. Although he has resided in the United States since the 1960s, Addy, Young did not become a U.S. citizen until January 2020. He announced his new dual as Canadian citizenship and his intention to vote Democratic in the upcoming election. Neil Young, a renowned music artist, had a notable appearance in the last waltz where a famous detail was altered. The image of cocaine visible from his left nostril was airbrushed out by Martin Scorsese for the film. During the performance of Mystery Train with Paul Butterfield, the stage lights went out, leaving only one spotlight. When Young performed Helpless, Joni Mitchell sang background vocals from backstage. In 2020, after living in the United States for over 50 years, Neil Young became a citizen, but he intends to retain his Canadian citizenship as well. These facts highlight the significant role he has played in the music industry and his enduring connection to his home countries. Neil Young, a renowned music artist, wrote the song Ohio in 1970 in response to the Kent State shootings. He resides on a 1,500 acre ranch in La Honda, California, and also owns homes in Florida and Hawaii. A strong advocate for artistic integrity, Young turned down a million dollar offer to perform at Woodstock 94, citing his concerns about its commercialism. His decision underscores his commitment to preserving the authenticity of his art and his belief in the importance of artistic values over commercial interests. Neil Young is a guitarist and singer for the folk rock group Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. In the mid-1960s, he was part of a Canadian rock band called the Minor Birds with future R&B artist Rick James. When James was arrested for being AWOL from the Navy, Young and bassist Bruce Palmer formed Buffalo Springfield. Young is known for his song Southern Man and Alabama, which criticized racism in the southern United States. These songs prompted a response from Leonard Skynyrd with Sweet Home Alabama. Some interpret Young's walk-on as a response to Skynyrd, while others believe it refers to Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. After Ronnie Van Zant and Steve Gaines of Leonard Skynyrd died in a plane crash in 1977, Young performed a rare live version of Alabama in Miami changing the chorus to Sweet Home Alabama in tribute. Young's songs have often sparked conversation and response, showcasing his ability to address relevant social issues through his music. His contributions to the music industry continue to be recognized and appreciated. Let's hear your thoughts about the talented musician, Neil Young. With a career spanning over five decades, he has made a significant impact on the music industry. His work includes classics like Heart of Gold and Harvest Moon, which continue to be fan favorites. Neil Young's music is known for its folk rock sound and thought-provoking lyrics. He has also been a part of successful bands such as Buffalo Springfield and Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Despite the many changes in the music industry over the years, Neil Young has remained true to his artistic vision. He has continued to experiment with different sound and styles, from electronic music to rock operas. His legacy is not only his music, but also his influence on other artists. 
Many musicians cite Neil Young as an inspiration, and his songs have been covered by countless artists. So, let us know what you think about Neil Young and his work in the comments below. We would love to hear your thoughts, memories, and favorite songs. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more about the creative minds that have shaped entertainment. Your support helps us bring you more of the content you love. Thanks for watching.